Yesterday, we were treated to President Trump giving the order of 59 tomahawks uh, going into Syria in response to that chemical attack. Now, I'm kind of really against what he did because, well, as Senator Sanders said, it's easier to get into a war than it is to get out of it. And I just can't understand why someone like McCain, who we all know the military record of, and you know he's been thanked for his service time and time again, would advocate getting involved in a situation in such a direct manner, despite nothing being done to the U.S. And this really just kind of being a okay, I'm just going to decide to do this and not get the approval of Congress or anyone that is an elected official, barring myself. I don't know what will happen. I have no atlas or, um, you know, crystal ball to tell me what, what's going to occur. As much. We all don't. But I can say that if you look at most cases of wars that we've had, it was usually after we attacked, we were we were attacked. Um, you look at Pearl Harbor, and obviously there's the example of the U.S. being attacked and us being led into World War II. I don't see any real rationale for just jumping into this this way. And I can kind of comprehend the idea, okay, well, we want to make sure we send them the threat, uh, as Cruz was indicating, if, you know, these weapons get in the hands of terrorists that are interested in harming the U.S., that spells trouble for us. I understand that. The problem is it, it doesn't seem... We, we know they did not attack us. That's what we know. And if we know that, then why would they either give the weapons or even ha be in the proximity to where these terrorists can acquire them? I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but I just, I don't know, it feels off to me to go and jump into this situation, um, especially with our history. The other event of noteworthiness was uh, Gorsuch getting confirmed, which we all knew he would. Um, that nuclear option, well, I think it was 55 to 45, and you had just... A situation I saw happen, you know, because all of his all of Trump's cabinet picks have been able to get in there except for a few. Um, it really shouldn't be of anyone's surprise that things have turned out this way. But what's scarier is now we have the nuclear option, which means and spells out only 51 votes are needed in the Senate for someone to get approved. And that's kind of disturbing when you think of the fact that the Democrats and Republicans really have never, have, neither have had, at least in the last 20 years, a large enough control of the Senate to make that to where that doesn't matter, where it can't be flipped by winning eight elections in one year. So that's some, I think that's something to think about, and it's a situation that we need to consider. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day, and stay safe.